Hey guys, it's Tennessee Bass Fishing Act here, and today I am at the same pond that I was fishing on doing the fishing on New Year's Day. I'm back out here with my buddy Nate, and we're going to try to catch some fish. He's already caught about five or six and lost a big one, and I've caught one on chatterbait, but we're going to switch it up. And I'm going to fish a Texas rig, Zoom, six inch lizard, and watermelon candy um, and a uh, blue fox spinner and i don't even know what this color is because they don't label their colors at all so stay tuned and watch us catch a couple fish in the process of this There's fish. Yep. On a blue fox spinner. That was my second cast and choked it. If you could see that, he ate it. This fish has got pretty coloration. Do what? Yeah, fish number two. This fish is a lot lighter. I mean, it's darker than yours, than the majority of yours. I caught it like right next to the dock. Yeah, I don't even know if this GoPro is angled right or not. There we go. Well, sink cast with the spinner. I'm probably not even going to edit that part out, but let's give it an LFG smell. <sighs> Smells good. Bye, buddy. You got one? Yep. Hey, Nate's got one. He's catching numbers, but I've been catching quality. That was a pretty good fish, though. Yeah, he's okay. Are the same size as the one you just caught? Yeah, maybe. Nate's got a big fish. And today, if you cannot tell, this water's like chocolate milk. It's really, really dark. Chocolate milk. <laughs> That's what they call it. This water's so murky, it's hard to find a good color to fish. But we're fishing bright colors, and it's really sunny right now. Like up there, if you can tell. Oops. I gotta get it on the edge of the dock. Dang it. I'll get it. Oh, shoot. Huh? I already tied it on. <laughs> Dude, I'm watching the boards move when you step. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. 
Really bad. <laughs> this is going in the video, even though I said, "Oh." <laughs> I'm just. Let <laughs> me get it out for you. You was it barely went in your skin. <laughs> it about went barb deep. You was. That's not. That's nothing. It hurt pretty freaking bad though. It just shocked me. It's not as bad as the other night when I was tying on that fly and I got a fly stuck in my finger. All right, guys, so me and Nate just got done fishing for the day, and I forgot to do the outro, so right now I'm doing the outro. Don't judge me, and why are you doing this again, Nate? Okay, and he's hitting these mud holes. <laughs> yeah, so this is the outro of fishing today, I guess. Catch y'all next time.